So, hi everyone. Um, my name is Ben Jones. I am in the uh, product marketing uh, section of MediaKind. I'm joined today by my colleagues, uh, Nancy Dubay, who is Senior Director of Business, business Development, uh, and Paul O'Donovan, who I don't know what you do. So, <laughs> oh, that's very nice, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> So what? I look after market development for our direct consumer portfolio, um, as well as advertising, as well as new new specialised projects such as the Atlas Upscale solution we're, we're looking at today. So um, jack of all trades with many different hats. Good. Uh, you didn't say master of none, which is the, the right thing to say. Exactly. Uh, so why are we doing this webinar then? Um, really, it's off the back of um, a handful of... Uh, different events where we've had some very very good feedback obviously something like NAB was uh, was the the pinnacle of that because we actually won the NAB product of the year for this particular showcase back in April um, but we've done other events such as the 4k summit in Malaga last year um, mile high video in Denver um, and obviously we've done um, channel partner conferences as well where this has gone down particularly well and we're already getting um, leads through those guys as well. Okay, so the way this is going to go today is um, Nancy's going to do a quick market overview. Um, then Paul is going to talk about the performance of the AI upscale uh, service. Um, and then uh, we'll see how this looks in terms of the customer's uh, use case and how the um, user experience um, looks as well. Um, I'll go through the product status, where we are with the product um, formally, what stage in the release cycle we are, so on and so forth, what supporting materials we've got. Um, and then Paul at the end is going to talk about uh, some sales incentive pricing for you guys to start using this um, in a kind of try before you buy um, method first. All right, so basically, um, what is it we're going to be talking about? So we have um, at MediaCon, we've leveraged on the operational advantages of cloud computing, um, but specifically on the potential of AI-driven um, resolution upscaling. Up um, and we've developed that in, uh, we've developed an innovative, fully scalable solution that enables content providers such as yourselves to leverage your vast SD or HD libraries um, and existing product pipelines to boost your UHD offerings, essentially. So this is something that's, that's going to be uh, working with your current set of archives or advertising or whatever that content is to bring that up to UHD and it's pretty much as per native UHD once you get the, the end result and that's going to give you opportunities to monetize on the entire set of catalog so that you've now got something that is fully H, uh, UHD okay um, the quality of this is pretty much um unrivaled you know when paul goes through the performance part later on um we'll see very very clearly that actually this is this is not uh, a traditional um upscaling kind of approach it's much much more than that um and the value with the media kind side is that we've we've put a significant amount of effort into how we train that neural network to to behave in such a high quality way um, so Nancy, can I hand this to you? Uh, sure. You're going to talk about the market analysis. Um, Thank you, Ben. You know, uh, just to add on into what you said, you know, I'm media kind. Uh, you know, over the past 30 years, we have kept, you know, innovating and pushing the technology of the solution that we provide, and we're very proud about it. Uh, you know, through the years, we won several industry awards. And uh, so the, the upscale is one that is a brand new one that we're introducing to the market and we're very proud of it. Like Ben did mention, we already won uh, an award this year at the NEB in the AI uh, machine learning category. And just to give a little bit of background, uh, you know, we have two labs, 
one in Southampton, UK, the other one in north of France in Rennes, close to a thousand of engineers in the development. And this was developed, you know, I would say more than a year uh, and a half ago. And uh, but it was just not the right timing to bring to the market. And we do believe right now with the different change in the market that uh, it is due for a new relaunch. We have received several requests. And with the demo that we have been presenting in different trade show in North America and Europe, we receive a lot of people with curiosity and a good interest of this service. So why is it the right time? Well, the, the technology, if I go up to, to the bottom here, is the TV set and the technology price is going down, making it more available for the end user to have the device to be able to see the uh, Ultra HD. At this time, there is very little content. So there is an opportunity in creating more. Um, the bandwidth is increasing and becoming more available. So I do understand that the whole globe is not all equal, but Europe, uh, North America, and some other regions are really set to be able to use this uh, service. The customer demand is increasing with the gaming, the sports, and they are always searching for better quality content. But the content provider, uh, you know, have a high cost. So the, the production is still very limited. And I have to mention the AI. The AI has been really at the core of the development of this uh, technology, and AI is learning by itself. So the more it learns, the more it enhances the quality of the product. So as you can see, there are several factors that we do think is the right uh, positioning or the right timing to the market for this. If I give you an overview of uh, Ben, next one. Um, we, uh, there are different segments of the market that we do believe that it could be of a good use. Uh, obviously, in the media entertainment, when we talk about content production, studios, broadcasters, the, the ones who own the content, uh, they could have an AG content, and it, this is a really easy solution to upscale it with very low cost to an ultra HD to serve the market. Uh, if I go to the right, then we have the e-learning. So this is a little bit different than the traditional media entertainment, but it does serve you know, the, the, the people who have a lot of content uh, on video database for corporate or uh, any kind of e-learning, and they want to upscale their content to a superior quality. Bottom left, the advertising. So while we have content owner producing a higher quality, the advertising should continue in the same, you know, consistent quality of production. So we, we do think that the advertiser is also a good market for this. And then the bottom right, then everything that is video um, database, uh, for example, previously recorded concert or special event in sports, and they want to monetize on this, but enhance the quality. So this, we do think it's a, it's a right market. As you can see, there are four different segment market. What are the, the key benefits of the Atlas uh, upscale solution? So it's really improving the quality. So we have done several uh, market analysis of different solution. And so far, we have to say that we are very happy uh, of the outcome of the quality. We consider this a really professional, high grade quality production. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, it really depends also on the AI use in the background. So we have been training our AI in producing the, the best quality of this solution. Upper right, the cost effective. So what does it require today in producing an Ultra HD? It requires expensive equipment. It requires uh, people who have the expertise in handling that. And so it's really high cost in OPEX and CAPEX of your company. So 
having a cost solution on demand for only what you need, it's creating really a, a key benefit of being cost efficient for this. Bottom left, the efficiency. So, um, you know, producing could take a really long time or reviewing an existing HD content and manipulating with people, it could take really a long time. The solution of the upscale on the marketplace that in the cloud that we are providing could be done simultaneous. I can say that word. I'm at sorry. The same. Several, several batch at the same time, <laughs> and it, so it makes it very efficient to uh, deliver several uh, video assets at the same time. Then I have to mention also the flexibility. So this overall solution, you know, having a, a low cost, improving the quality, being on demand, it puts puts it into your hands as being a very flexible model. And uh, you can decide on clips, you can decide on full assets, you can decide on upscaling full series. That is really depending on your needs at the moment. So those are the key benefits. Ben, do we have the uh, vision slide of the product for uh, MediaKind? Otherwise, I can talk no, about it. You can talk a little bit about that if you want. So, yeah, so the Atlas Upscale is the first of a portfolio that MediaKind is developing. Uh, it's the first one that we're bringing to the market, but we do have a vision of being leader into the AI processing uh, on the cloud. So there are several initiatives that is happening right now with the OpenAI and our cloud provider in diversifying this, uh, this portfolio of services that will be uh, soon available to you. But today it's the introduction of the Atlas Upscale HD to Ultra HD. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can see why we've done this and um, what the benefits are to you guys um, in, in taking this up uh, with us. Um, now we're going to get on to some slightly more exciting stuff. Paul um, is going to show us uh, some comparison pictures and he's personally going to explain basically what, what the difference is between what we're doing here and what people have done traditionally um, in terms of upscaling resolutions. Okay, take it away, Paul. Great. Thanks, Ben. So there are you know, a number of upscaling solutions in the marketplace today. Uh, you may even see consumer devices such as powerful smart TVs or Amazon Fire Sticks or NVIDIA Shield type devices that do upscaling um, you know, within the device itself from, from HD to 4K for outputting into the TV set. Um, the quality and the results of that are, are not fantastic compared to what we're offering. So very typically they'd have a, a 1080i input, they de-insulate it, uh, they just upsample it effectively. We've got a red pixel here, let's make four red pixels, and that's then your UHD output. So the actual improvement is not really anything uh, significant um, and it's not recent the consumer is likely to notice what we've development developed is a uh, com computational neural network uh, try saying that quickly 10 times um, which allows us to actually do the upscaling in a very very similar manner to how professional studios would do it with with human beings um, sat behind the computer actually doing the doing it on a frame by frame basis where we really be able to differentiate in this area is the training of the network. So there's there's a variety of people out there who've done a sort of very very similar idea when it comes to using a uh, an AI to upscale content, but the magic is in the training of the uh, training of the AI. Uh, for many many companies, what they'll do for the training is they would take 4K content, they downscale it to HD. The AI would upscale it again, or the, the neural network would upscale it again, and then they'd compare the two of them side by side. Um, this sounds slightly counterintuitive, but the end result is that the, the, the video looks too real. It doesn't actually work for the human eye or the human brain. It's a bit like when um, Peter Jackson released The Hobbit um, in the cinema, the, the films in the cinema, 
and he was doing it at 60 frames a second and there were people walking out they had headaches people being sick in the aisles it's a similar type of situation there so actually what our engineers realized is that in order to train your neural network you actually need to have a second one which can recognize whether an a upscale frame was good whether it was bad and feed that back um you know back in for the training so it was actually taking into account the human eye and the human brain and what we would like to see when it came to the training and that's why we have very very high quality very real very acceptable to the human eye and the human brain looking results so to actually sort of dive into what these uh, these results look like um this is from a a, a um, open source video that uh, um, was provided by uh, by one of the big uh, national broadcasters and actually what we're just going to do is is zoom in on a couple of the details here so you can see the end results so detail a and detail b uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, zooming in and enhancing ben it's just like the, just like the tv shows isn't it it's like being in a a police drama where we're looking at the evidence here um so we can see on on the left hand side this is like kind of a, a conventional upscale um you know you can see it's still quite blurry when we move in things like the hsbc logo aren't very clear the pricing um is uh you know whilst visible again isn't very clear doesn't have very sort of clearly defined edges um if we look at the middle one um this is um again a um an ai based solution from a from competitor uh, i think what's interesting here you know you're starting to see a bit more resolution a bit more definition but actually what it's also done is it's introduced a rather unpleasant video artifact right slap bang in the middle of the video um which is uh, suboptimal i think is the the polite british way of phrasing it so you know not a brilliant result there uh and then on the right hand side we can see the media kind results so we can see you know the, the hsbc logo here is you know very recognizable not just the, the text but the logo itself uh the pricing for the uh, for the mcdonald's advert again is very visible it's very clear very clear defined edges which is something that the human eye then will pick up on when you zoom back out and uh, you're seeing this on a on a large screen uh, if you want to pop along to the next one please ben uh, again similar idea here where we've got the, the the traditional upscale the competitive solution in the middle and then the media kind um, you know here again it's it's very very clear if we look at the the text for the uh, for the food and on the post-it uh, you know we have far more defined edges far more clarity far easier to read with our solution so if you imagine then if you you know you sort of zoom back out um, and go back on have this on a, a large screen tv all of a sudden that's a level of detail that the human eye is able to see recognize and process um, and that gives uh, a, you know, a much, much better quality uh, when it comes to the, uh, the, the 4K video. Uh, a couple more to show, I think, aren't there, Ben? If you wouldn't mind yep. skipping on, please. Um, we actually have this video available for, for download on request. Uh, the 4K HDR Summit um, from Malaga were very, very kind to, to share, share a video with us, actually, ahead of the event last year that, that Ben mentioned. Um, what we've actually done is um, we have the 1080i video on the left and the upscaled 4K on the right. Um, and it's very, very interesting as you go through the video, there's certain areas like on the waves, um, on um, on some of the architecture, on some of the views where you sort of look, at, look at the two side by side and go, oh, wow. Um, for me, actually, it was brickwork. Um, you see the brickwork in these two. And again, I'll, I'll ask Ben to zoom in here um where you know again we, we've really zoomed in we've gone for a single brick just to do the side by side comparison so we have the the hd 1080i on the left uh not a very clearly defined brick and we then have our lovely upscaled 4k uh brick on the right hand side uh, not the most exciting of content but actually it's a very very good way to see how the definition is increased this is being increased across the board across the entire frame um, and it, you know, this is then the level of detail that the human eye is able to pick up on, process, and uh, and you know, really, really benefit from uh, from the, the content there. Who, who would have thought bricks could be so intriguing, Paul? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, as we mentioned, uh, there is a demo video available on request. Um, the 4K HDR Summit were very, very kind and, and gave us permission to share it. Uh, with our customers uh, so if it's of interest please let us know we're, we're happy to share on request uh, on the understanding that it stays within your organization
Um, in terms of the user experience for this, um, there is a, a portal available that allows you to uh, to do the, the, the processing of the content. Um, the service itself today is offered in Azure. So um, we can spin up Azure instances. We can give you access, secure access to, uh, to blob storage uh, where you can then upload the content um, where you know, we don't have any direct access to that. Um, it's not a case of in the, in the in the UX you see here. There's a drop down menu. You choose the content you'd like to have upscaled. Uh, you choose various other things like bit rates, um, output formats, things like that. Uh, you hit the go button, and then when the content's ready, you're able to log back in on securely on the storage and pull the completed files back off there. So, from our perspective, you're not um, actually providing the files themselves to media kind. Uh, we're able to offer this as a service, so you have the control over the content um, you know, within uh, within your ecosystem. It's uh, so that should be you know, much much easier from a security perspective and a content rights perspective as well. Yeah, maybe it's worth just saying. I mean, if you if you guys have content that you you want to put through this tool, then you know we're we're happy to to run it up as well, but not necessarily going to say right here's the tool um go and do it yourself which of course you can um but at the same time if you're not comfortable doing that then that's something we can do for you right uh all right so the product status so we we're giving this webinar because the product is it's almost at a what we say limited release, which means that we have control over um, who effectively can raise a PO against it, right? So it's not general release. General release would be what Paul's just gone through um, on Marketplace or something like that. So, so any Joe public can come in and click add to cart uh, and upload their um, their assets and do it like that. Obviously, this is a this is a new product, so we want to try and steer this into the right hands, as it were, which is why we are talking to a our trusted channel partners and b our trusted um, customers directly, so that we can manage that much much better. Um, so, so it's just before limited release. This is a this is, I guess, fairly. Um, I guess it's pre-release information to get you guys uh, an incentive to to start using it. Um, now, the success of this is going to drive further product development. And Nancy talked about whether it's getting that automation sorted so that we can then GA it onto something like uh, Azure Marketplace or append it with other types of neural net processing um, as well to complement it. So that, that's where it is. It's pre-release, um, but we are actually starting to take, uh, certainly starting to take samples for customers for their review um, with the intention that they actually go further with it. Um, there are limitations, but actually the limitations probably well, certainly with uh, resolutions and stuff like that, the limitations are fairly soft. We're trying to keep it. Um, frankly, if everyone turned around and says, yeah, I've got some 1080i 4 uh, HD and I want to turn it into 2160p, that, that's all good because that's what we've geared it towards currently. We have had requests and we had have samples where we have... 480i or 576i and they want it turned into HD and the results are pretty much you know the same kind of higher quality whether it's SD to HD or HD to to 4k so if you've got a load of SD that you want uh, changing up then we can do that of course um, some other rules are right now it's it's a SAS only thing it runs in in an Azure tenant only um, it isn't live either, so you would give us the content or you would apply the content, upload the content, and then there would be some time before that content reappears upscaled. Um, 
live potentially is a is a use case that we would we are looking into based on the success of this so that's that could be a very interesting one and then we've got a list of different resolutions that again um they're slightly off piece but it doesn't mean that the 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 process doesn't handle it um along with this so you this this kind of training webinar We'll obviously send the recording out as well. Uh, so you've got this. There's a there's product brochure. There's uh, data sheets. There is the uh, various different presentations. But actually, what I would say is ultimately what Paul's going to talk about next. I would indulge yourselves um, in going for Paul's incentive, which is effectively a try before you buy. Um, you give us some content. We'll give you five minutes of upscale content back you go and have a look at it and go that's absolutely amazing i want all of my episodes like that or i want all of my advertising content like that um and then it gets even better because then there's even a a decent rate on um that hourly processing time to you uh to to get this going paul are you going to just quickly talk about that yep sure thanks ben Lovely. So um, just to sort of set the market pricing slightly here, um, if you were looking at getting a, uh, typically it's films that are done um, HD to, U, to, to UHD, um, you know, especially you know, films from the 90s, that quite often happens where they get upscaled and then re-released on Blu-ray, for example. Um, in that kind of setup, you're looking at in the region of 10 to 20,000 um, euros per hour of content. Uh, that you want upscaled um, so it, you know, it's a labor intensive process uh, people cost money um, so you know it's it's a relatively expensive process which typically only happens for quite high value or, or mid value content um, typically films that people want to then re-release on uh, on blu-ray for example um, we're offering this service to start with at uh, a list price of 450 euros per hour of content um as as ben mentioned um you know we're happy to do a couple of samples to allow you to sort of try before you buy uh if you'd like to you know provide us with some sample content we can upscale it we can send it back to you uh and you can make sure that you're you're happy with the end result uh before you go any further um and then you know if uh if you have a, a huge catalog of content uh if you come to us saying you know media kind i've got ten thousand hours of content that i'd like to get upscaled please uh, you yeah, know, we're more than happy to have a conversation around volume discounts uh, and what we can do there to make things a bit more cost effective for you. But, you know, really for us, you know, we feel that at this price level, it makes it a perfectly viable solution for especially um, sort of older or archived TV shows uh, that you might have that's you know, still relatively high value content um, or actually could even be new content that you might have that you want to upscale as well. Uh, as Nancy, Nancy mentioned earlier, you know, the production of 4K content is a, a very, very expensive thing to do uh, when you look at the end-to-end -end workflows. So by actually taking content that's being produced even today in HD and upscaling it to 4K, that allows you to enhance either your uh, your streaming catalog or potentially even uh, your, your broadcast channels as well when you're uh, repeating these shows um, to, to really make sure you're monetizing them properly. So we're really really excited about this solution very much looking forward to hearing from you and uh, getting those uh, free of charge um, assets uh, upscaled so that you can test it and then uh, getting a, a much wider range of content upscaled uh, for your catalogs yeah uh, and speak to your account manager or your media kind account manager if um, if you want to start that process and then he'll refer it to the correct uh, team within MediaKind to to do that, but um, that that's that's normally quite a quick uh, process, certainly for the five minute ones anyway. All right, um, anything else anyone wants to add, Nancy, Paul? Other than that, I think we've covered pretty much everything. Um, yep. This will bring out as a as a recording um, after after this. Um, and if you have any questions outside of that, then Paul, Nancy, or myself will take those. Um, but we look forward to being able to help you make loads of money from your SD or HD assets. 
Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, everyone. Thank you both. Bye-bye.